Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got a major report to share with you. For quite some time, I have been warning about a global ID that they wanna push on force on all the people. Not only that, but they also want a national ID here in America, even more hardcore than our, uh, you know, we have our social security numbers, we have our driver's license, but they wanna take it to another level and make it a biometric, kind of ID forced upon every American citizen. Now, don't take my word for it. I'm gonna actually show you a report via Ron Paul and how he is warning how this latest House resolution, this is House Resolution uh, 4760, Securing America's Future Act, and how he is stating that that act could implement a national ID across America. Now, before I get into that, I wanna tell you guys about my partner here, TradeGeniusAcademy.com. He's got some amazing specials right now. They're gonna end January 31st. So you wanna, you've got a couple of days to get to that marker, uh, but it is his winter discount special. If you're looking to understand cryptocurrency, then you're gonna really wanna check out some of his specials. I have not seen specials this big on his website, uh, but I'll throw it on the screen for you. You can see that their annual subscription service that comes with the buy, sell signals and chat rooms, uh, you can get all this at a discounted price of $3.99 for an entire year. That's actually a $1,200 value also they have the winter package for 999 that includes all your courses training videos uh, crypto money machine software and a one year subscription that's a forty five hundred dollar value so it's you're really looking at a good deal here now i've brought him on my channel a few times and he's talked about uh bitcoin and even encouraged a lot of you to invest in bitcoin years uh, months ago when it was only at like a thousand so if we listened to him back then then you would have made a good 10 grand by now uh, so some interesting things to think about, but if you want to check it out, go to his website at tradegeniusacademy.com. All right, so the first thing I want to show you here is the actual bill itself. I'm going to take you straight to the site. House Resolution 4760, Securing America's Future Act. Now, it was introduced on the 10th of January, 2018, uh, by Representative Bob Goodlatte of Virginia. Now, what you're seeing on the screen is, and I've kind of highlighted the find button, but you can see the word biometric highlighted over 50 some odd times in this entire report, meaning that they're dead serious about some of the biometrics in this particular uh, House resolution. Now, here's a report that gets into a little more detail. This is on WND.com. It's titled Police State, National ID Card Tucked in an Immigration Bill. Now, it goes on to state that inserted in the sweeping House bill that you just saw introduced earlier this month, and I uh, stated that already, but it says it's introduced by Representative Bob Goodlatte of Virginia, House Resolution 4760, encompasses issues such as education, homeland security, and the military. And buried in this 400 page legislation is the new mandatory national identification system in which citizens are required or would be required to carry a government approved ID containing biometric features. That is definitely police state. Now it states that anyone seeking employment in the country has to have this card. It further details that the purpose of this measure and part of the legislation solution to the DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, is to curb illegal immigration. That is the reason they're claiming to do it. It specifically addresses the shortcomings of E-Verify system, which failed to catch 54% of illegal immigrations. And then further in the report, uh, Paul says in specifically regard to the national ID that it doesn't target any border, but instead it's meant to create an all out police state within the United States there. Now, Ron Paul, he's got the libertarian views there, but he's actually put out an entire petition, which I'm gonna ask all of you to sign, kind of an action alert. Make sure you sign this because if this legislation happens to go through right now, it's not, it's not gone through. It's just been introduced in order for something to become a law. It's got to go through a lot of steps and we're just at step one with this thing. But the reason that we need to bring attention to it is because you and I don't need a biometric ID for each and every single one of us. That's one step into the new world order, global ID, if you will, which I've talked about on ID, uh, 2020, I believe, uh, dot com. I'll leave a link below. 
for that, but this is a national ID system that the United Nations wants to push on America. It's, uh, there's 17 goals by the United Nations. If you look at the 16th goal, the ninth one, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, uh, you can reference that. It says that the goal is within 30 years to have everyone in the world with an, with an ID card or some kind of global ID. So keep that in mind, and this is why I'm encouraging you guys to sign this petition, but let me take you to the petition site so you can see what Ron Paul is actually saying and here he says uh, this is the exactly this is exactly the kind of fight that can decide whether a republic descends into tyranny tyranny because this is bondage through biometrics and having your very personal information there but this new national id scheme filled with biometric information linked to a federal database would be required for every American to work. So you have a job, you have to have one of these and could include all sorts of information or other information like gun ownership, your religious beliefs and your political involvement, none of which is their business. Now he goes on and says, this is why we need a petition, our representatives and senators, and he gives some points there. Privacy from government is a chief cornerstone of our liberties. He goes on, the Securing America Future Act establishes the mandatory ID system with biometric features like I showed you. Without this card, Americans would not be able to legally hold a job. This particular database could expand to include gun ownership, religious beliefs, political uh, affiliation, and anything with a stroke of a president's pen. So he urges us to oppose any legislation requiring this ID. And I have to agree with him 100%, which is why I'm bringing it to the forefront to you. So there will be a link down below for you guys to sign that. So make sure you check that out. But here's it in a nutshell. You must remember the United Nations ultimate goal, their 16th goal there, uh, within 30 years to have identification for everyone, a global ID card for everyone. Well, this would be one step in that de direction, this house resolution uh, that Bob is attempting to push through there. So make sure you call attention to it. Share this report far and wide so people really know what it is all about. In this 400 page document, they are slipping stuff in under the radar and that's what we need to call out. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to check out tradegeniusacademy.com. I'm Lisa Haven signing out. Oh. One last thing, uh, I'm also going to be at the Hear the Watchman conference. Don't forget to go there, check that out. I'd love to have you guys attend and uh, meet every single one of you that want to go to that. That's in Dallas, Texas, March uh, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Uh, they've got packages still available and you want to get them before they run out. Use the code HAVEN20 for $20 off if you're going to attend or Haven 20, if you want the live stream feed, then you can get 20% uh, off with that code Haven 20. Anyhow, thanks again. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.